Hello, my name is Judith Ichumar from the Fit for Life program. We've been working together for the last five years and it's really been a privilege to be doing this together. Last year, however, we had a very contrary environment because of COVID-19. And I'm bringing to you stories of three young people who have shown the spirit of resilience because they have bounced back from several lockdowns imposed by the government to save people from death so as to run their businesses. Hello, my name is Isaac Kasaga. I'm the proud owner of the First Call Auto Transport Services. We deal in special hires, both normal and corporate trips. And the nature of my business is I'm renting a car from the owner at a rate of 200,000 Ugandan shillings. That's about 55 US dollars weekly. My business started right after final class of Fit for Life in 2019. Since then, my business was moving smoothly, not until the government implemented a total lockdown in 2020 March. This was a big challenge to the working environment of my business. However, in August, the lockdown was eased. But due to the lessons I learned in the Fit for Life class and the values that I, I applied in my business of timeliness, persistence, and ensuring safety, at least I was able to survive. However, the government has also imposed another partial lockdown this early June, which is another challenge, but it does not stop me fr from my dream, which is on hold of attaining my personal car. Hi, my name is Feva. I'm, I'm the managing director of Delisho Enterprise. We do local food and snacks. I started a business in 2019 and I employed two girls. I was in church, I had about fit for life. I joined because I love working, but I had no idea of how to run business. But when I joined, I got knowledge of how to run business. COVID-19 has affected my business too much because we had to close our business for over a full year. That is the whole of 2020 and I realized by the time we, I opened the business, the rent had gone up to 3 million. I couldn't actually pay all that money, yet I had to start again looking for capital. It was too hard for me. I've managed to run this business through the knowledge I've got through the fit for life. If it's not fit for life, I couldn't actually be here. I'm thanking the coaches, thank you so much for standing with me. The knowledge I got, the training I got, it's what helped me to run the business and my employees still. My name is Frank Joseph and I run two companies, three house group of companies and vitamin juice and snacks. I've run the vitamin juice business so far three months back. I, I joined Fit for Life from 2019, February. I, when someone told me about it, and I, kept, I came to give it a try. I liked the classes, they were so impactful. So I decided to stay. Uh, before COVID, I used to do poetry, and uh, I made losses because my customers were no more. Because of Fit for Life, I'm still in business. So when I failed the first time, I remembered what I was always learning from the classes. At this moment, I want to thank the mentors, the coaches, and the funders of Fit for Life because of you people that have surrendered the knowledge, the skills, the resources for us to learn. And I want to thank you so much. So you've heard the stories of the three young people. I'm so excited that these young people have benefited from the skills transfer that we have realized in Fit for Life as well as the funding. And I would just like to encourage you, please keep it coming. And I also want to tell you how grateful we are that you have made a difference in not just one person's life, but more than one. Thank you.